Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the book methodologies. The book methodology is a widely used OMT method or object oriented method. It helps to design our system using object paradigms. It covers the analysis and design phase of an object oriented system. Book uses large set of symbols and we will never use all these symbols and diagrams. We start with class and object diagrams in various steps. The book method consists of the following diagrams. Those are class diagram, object diagram, state transition diagram, module diagram, process diagram, and interaction diagram. The book methodology prescribes a macro development and micro development process. For this, first of all, we have to discuss the use cases. Use cases are scenarios for understanding system requirements. A use case is an interaction between user and a system and the use case model captures the goal of the user and the responsibility of the system to its user. The use case description must contain how and when the use case begins and ends, the interaction between the use case and its actors including when the interaction occurs and what is exchanged, thirdly how and when the use case will store data in the system, and finally exceptions to the flow of events as so as we mentioned the book methodology consists of micro development and macro development processes firstly we are discussing the macro development processes the macro process serves as a controlling framework for the micro process and can take weeks or even months the technical management of the system is interested less in the actual object oriented design than in how well the project corresponds to the requirement set for it and whether it is produced on time. The macro development process consists of the following steps like conceptualization, analysis and development of the architecture, design and create system architecture, and evolution or implementation. In the conceptualization, it establishes the core requirement of the system and establish a set of goals and develop a problem to prove the concept. The analysis and development of the model consists of the class diagrams are used to describe the roles and responsibilities of the object to carry out in performing the desired behavior of the system. The object diagram describes the desired behavior of the system in terms of the scenarios and the interaction diagram are also used to describe the behavior of the system in terms of scenarios. In the third step that is design or create the system architecture, the class diagrams are used to decide what classes exist and how they relate to each other. The object diagram decides what mechanisms are used to regulate how the object collaborate and the module diagram used to map out where each class and object should be declared. The module diagram is used to determine which processor to allocate a process. It also determines the schedule for multiple processes on each relevant processor. In the evolution or implementation phase, it produces a stream of software implementation after a successful refining the system through many iterations. And finally, in the maintenance phase, it makes localized change to the system to add new requirement and eliminate bugs or errors. So these are the various steps or phases in macro development. When it comes to the micro development process, that is, each macro development process has its own micro development process. Micro development process is a description of the day-to-day -day activities by a single or small group of software development. So as we mentioned, the macro development may consist of weeks or months for of pro different various processes. In the micro development phase, we are focusing upon the day-to-day -day activities or day-to-day -day processes. The micro development process consists of following steps that is identify the class and object, identify class and object semantics, identify class and object relationship 
and finally identify class and object interface and implementation so my dear student these are the various considerations in book methodology and book introduced various set of diagrams which includes class diagram object diagram process diagram etc and each of these diagrams are very important in the phase of software or system development and these set of diagrams will be discussed in UML diagrams so my dear students hope you had understood this so dear students kindly go through the assignment question the assignment questions are write in detail about book methodology second one write notes on micro development process and macro development process so dear students in the upcoming lecture we are discussing the jacobson methodology so see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best